Hey Cancer, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here with me for your reading. We are going to be looking into your next major love relationship. So this is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Or to anyone um, uh, dealing with a Cancer. So this is for the cross watchers here as well. Um, this reading can be helpful. And we're going to look into what you can expect in your next major relationship, Cancer. So I'm excited to be doing these readings for you and delivering some messages. So uh, we'll see what the cards can reveal. Um, now, anyone after a private reading, please email me directly. I'll have my email below in the description box. Uh, and I can reply back with any booking details. Uh, feel free to sign up for channel membership if you wanted to have access to extended and bonus readings. Uh, also, what other announcements did I have? Uh, if you were um, wanting to subscribe, please feel free to do so, okay? It will give you uh, updates uh, for any notifications. So let's have a look and see your next major a relationship for cancer and let's take out one last card Okay, so for a lot of you, it appears you have an air personality coming in. So for a lot of you, your next major relationship could be with someone you're already speaking to. So some of you already know this person or you're in frequent contact with each other. Uh, like you might see them at the gym, you might work with this person, you might have them on social media. Uh, maybe you're just getting to know them or you're being introduced to them, but I feel like they may have an air personality. So they could be good with things like communication, um, storytelling. They could work with uh, communication here as well. So it's someone very chatty, okay? Someone that you like to talk to. Uh, they get you laughing is what I'm seeing. They could also be like uh, academic. So maybe they study, um, they work with clients one on one. They've got the gift of the gab, so like they're they're good. Um, they're good salespeople, is what I'm getting. But it may be someone under the sign of a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, but specifically, you do have a Leo with the Strength card. So, uh, Cancer, for some of you, I feel like it's a destined Leo um, who's coming in as your next relationship. So I feel like what I'm getting with the Three of Swords and the Three of Wands. Um, Cancer, I'm getting that this next relationship is somehow going to come off the back of a third party situation or a lover's triangle. So some of you might be still connected with an ex and then this person comes in. Or maybe you're currently speaking to someone now and then your ex comes back. Um, it could even be two people at the one time. But I feel like that's how that's how this relationship's going to start. So either you'll have options and you'll pick one. Or it's like you might be the other person they're talking to. They could have someone else. Um, but I do want to mention, Cancer, be careful because some of you, for some, it's going to start with this third party. It's not always the healthiest way to start relationships, um, you know, because obviously if they're, if they're interested in you and talking to you while they're still in a relationship with someone else, chances are they'll probably do it to you as well. So, you know, you have to protect yourself in these situations. So just be careful. Uh, but I feel like it could be coming off the back of something like that. Um, this next major relationship here. Um, I feel with the Wheel of Fortune, it's coming at a very divine time in your life because I feel like there is there is a lot happening in your life when this person comes in or when this relationship starts to, um, starts to take place. Uh, for some of you, it's like something to do with some sort of messy situation. Three of Swords, Ten of Swords, Four of Swords. I feel like you're you'll connect with this person just after you have like had something really painful in your life. Uh, maybe you've lost a person, you've lost a job, you're overcoming an addiction, you've lost a relationship. Uh, really, yeah, it's, it's coming off the back of this sort of um, connection is what I'm, is what I'm getting here. Um, okay, but there is a newness. Aces do bring new connections. So I feel like this is a new person. Um, 
and it's very likely that this next relationship could result in being either long distance we've got travel cards long distance cards so it might even be someone foreign um, maybe they've got a, a sexy accent maybe they have multiple businesses in different countries uh, maybe they travel a lot um, they could be traveling to your country you could be traveling to theirs they could be mixed race as well. There's like an exotic link to them here, but it could be this long distance lover or it might be someone you're meeting further away. Like if you guys are hooking up on a dating app and they're in the next town over, that could also be the case. Um, but this is this holds the promise of engagement or marriage, um, in particular engagement. So some of you could become engaged to this person fairly soon after. You may have to travel further out to meet their family or their parents. Um, I see you doing a bit of traveling here, um, Cancer, but if it's the one you're going to fall in love with and be with, then yes, you will travel as far and as wide as you need to um, in order to sustain this relationship. I'm sensing it's someone that could be older than you, um, uh, sorry, younger than you. So they may have like a uh, king of swords. They could be mature for their age, but they're coming up with that page energy, which makes me think they could be younger. Okay, could be... Three has come up a couple times, so I'm wondering if it's three months, three years, three weeks, um, 13 months younger than you, uh, but they have a maturity about them with the King of Swords and, and they really know how to sort of carry themselves with in public and with other people, which I think you'll really like. Uh, and I feel like, they, although they may look younger, they have this wonderful maturity about them, which I think you'll really appreciate. Um, but we do have that strength connection. Now, fire can be physical attraction. So I feel like cancer, you're going to see them from a mile away. It's almost like when you see this person, you're going to be super attracted. Um, it's almost like that moment, like you feel like you're in love. Um, it's very sweet, but I think you're, yeah, you're going to be very attracted to them. You're going to want to flirt with them and, and, and connect with them. Um, I feel like there's a very strong physical attraction between you and them and I feel like this is a very there's the basis of a very strong relationship cancer so you know you've probably been through waves in your in your love life you might have had multiple relationships you might have gotten hurt they might have not have worked out the way you wanted them to but then this person is gonna really come in and change your life for the better I think you're gonna be very happy with them I do uh, I just wonder with the Two of Pentacles, there could be some back and forth. So for some of you, you're going to have this connection of this on and off, this back and forth. Be careful with these kind of connections. Um, you really want to make sure you're balancing out this relationship. Otherwise, if it's back and forth, chances are it's going to end up like your previous relationships um, where there's a lot of push and pull. And you don't want that as a permanent kind of dynamic in a relationship. So I think... That's something you need to learn. We do have a church here, so I strongly feel like you're going to get married to your next person. Um, there's marriage here in the cards for you. And we've got the scales of justice, so I feel like this relationship has some sort of legal attachment. Uh, for some of you, it could mean like going down to City Hall and signing marriage papers. Uh, for others, it's like you might sign a lease together, you could sign a visa document together, you could enter into some sort of agreement here, but it's like written on paper because this is like the laws of justice card. So, um, but I see a lot of you having a traditional, traditional sort of wedding, um, you know, in a church, in a temple, in a sacred place of worship. Uh, if that's what you're wanting, Cancer, it's very likely uh, that that could happen. But I do feel like there will be waves in this relationship and you know no relationship is perfect no person is perfect um it's just you know you're always going to have issues come up because no two people can click and work perfectly together it's just not possible and if it is you'll probably get sick of each other like that um you know you need that you need differences together but i do want to mention it's just it's about who you want to ride the waves with because there is going to be tough times and you are going to have disagreements but I think this connection is, is strong enough to, to want you to ride the waves with them. I really do. I think the way in which you talk to each other is going to be a big thing. The bird is, is a messenger. So, yeah, I think 
you have a strong connection to work with. You could be an unlikely pairing because, like, this is the maiden, right? And that's the lion. And they're an unlikely pair, but they make it work. So from the outside, people might be like, oh, you know, like, you guys... You may not seem like you would be together normally. Maybe your interests are very different or, or whatever it is, but like you make you make it work. I do. And I feel like you can you have potential to make this relationship very strong. Um I do wanna say what do I wanna say? <laughs> I do wanna say the Ten of Swords and the Ace of Cups. I do want to say that I've completely forgotten what I wanted to say. Um, yes, okay. I do want to say that you have to change something about yourself in this relationship to be with this person. Now, it could be a living situation. You might have to change languages. Some of you need to change up a lifestyle or a habit. There's a part of you that you need to shed and I feel like spirit will guide you. It's like your inner self will tell you, okay, I need to be better at this if I want this relationship relationship to be successful. I need to, you know, start working out more. I need to communicate better. I need to stop being abusive. I need to stop drinking. Um, I need to be more committed. I need to share this relationship more. Like, you know, I need to be more open. Whatever it is, it's like... There's something about you that will need to change. But I think you'll do it because in this relationship, you'll see from, from the get-go, I feel like from very early on, three of ones, you're going to see a future with this person. You'll see the whole ordeal. Living together, you know, being together, experiencing life together. You'll want to ride the waves with this person. You'll want to be there through the good times and you'll want to be there through the bad. And... You know, it could be a little bit of a wobbly start with the Three of Swords, but that doesn't have to mean it can be, it has to be a wobbly future together. You can absolutely change that. It doesn't need to be that way. So, you know, know that the universe has your back. But I see you very happy in this relationship, Cancer, and I feel like you deserve it. I think you're going to be very safe. This person is going to be like, they'll reassure you. You know, they'll never leave you guessing. They're going to be open and honest with you. Um, you might even move to a different country or a different city with this person. You know, the notion of this journey, you know, you might have a really exciting life together. One where you'll be able to travel lots or they may have family overseas and you'll visit them or they have a business overseas or... Their family works in the hospitality industry or the imports exports and you're sort of you'll be able to see the world i see you moving around with this person um together there could also be like there's two so i wonder if there's like two attempts at this relationship it could be symbolic of the back and forth but also two attempts so you know there might be chances there might be second chances with this person But I feel like before you go into that commitment slash creation stage, you'll you'll build that bond together and really get to know each other. But just be careful with the three of swords because you might have options. You know, this person will come in and you'll have a strong relationship, but you might have someone else coming in who wants to sort of have some sort of betrayal. You know, there are always going to be people like that, like women or men and like, Maybe they get off on it, like ruining other people's relationships or coming in between two people. It's an ego thing for them uh, that they can steal you away. So be careful because you could be ruining a good thing here. Um, there is some sick people out there who take pleasure in that. So just be careful you don't fall prey to that. Um, but I like that. I think you're going to have a very beautiful relationship, Cancer, here. So um, I do wish you all the best. So I, I hope you're very happy. 
Um, but look, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, if anyone's after a private reading, please feel free to email me. Uh, don't forget to drop a like if you have enjoyed this uh, video. Please subscribe to the channel to get updates for readings for your sign or your element. Uh, and if you'd like to subscribe to the, uh, sorry, become a channel member, um, you will gain access to bonus readings and extended readings. So uh, feel free to join via the homepage of my YouTube channel. Otherwise, I'm sure I'll catch you again very soon. So thanks a lot, Cancer, and bye for now.